You guys want to talk about what you, you just talked about? Yeah. We got here, we got the clear chicken that we chopped up yesterday with the eggs, the celery, the, uh, not celery, but the onions, the carrots, and the chicken, the rest in the egg whites. Put it in the refrigerator, let it chill overnight. This morning we brought, brought out the chicken broth and put it in there and it was really brown. And when we added it all together, that's how it looked. And now we put the, uh, the clear whites in there, I mean the clear chicken inside, and it's going to form a wrap. It's all going to float to the top and it's going to take all the impurities, not impurities, but all the, the coloring out and suck it all up into the top into the chicken. And so we're going to have a wrap of chicken floating on top. And by doing, taking the ladle, sticking it in, into the straight end, tap on the bottom and spin, swirl it out. It will rise, everything will rise to the top and form a raft. And by the end of the day or whenever it's done, it'll be clear like your urine. Your urine. <laughs> All right, so the secret of making a consomme is having a super strong stock. So we reduce this, we have a very nice looking roasted chicken stock. Right? We reduce it down to concentrate it a little bit. And we made a clear clear meat. Okay, and a clear meat is lean raw chicken or any kind of protein that you're going to use that mimics the flavor of the stock. A mirror ball. We gave you the ratios yesterday: one pound per gallon of all these things, and then five egg whites per gallon as well. So we have about three gallons of liquid. We're going to do about we get 15 uh, egg whites. Yeah? So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up very slowly. We're going to continually monitor the bottom because that protein starts to sink. Eventually it'll float because of the egg whites. Okay? So what we're doing is we're essentially making a magnet to take all the, all the precipitated products that are floating around and we're going to precipitate it into this one unit called a raft. And it will flow. Before it comes to a little tiny little simmer, you could stir it around. Once it does come to a, a temperature 180 degrees, you want to stop stirring and let that wrap solidify. And then it's going to simmer for about an hour only. And you'll see it come up over and filter again and again and again. We're going to keep it in a small bowl so you can see the carrot to the finished product, which should be, if we do it correctly, be a crystal clear, flavorful soup. So we're going to take that bowl, we're going to pour the consummate into the next one, and we're going to look at it side by side. Right now, it looks like an unholy mess. It looks like something that is conjured up after a hard night's drinking. But what's going to happen is that that little wrap with all the chicken and protein, it's perfectly good stuff. It's perfectly fine to eat. It's going to be flavorful, tasty, and we're going to we're going to sample it, right? At least just throw that away, but it is actually an edible product. It's a mirror claw with egg whites and, and chicken, lean chicken like that, okay? Now, what you're going to have to do eventually is keep these things segregated. You can't have any oil in this, right? And if there is any oil, we're going to show you how to degrease it. Oil. Also, when we strain it, we're going to have to be extremely careful. You just don't strain this in the garmage, and you need to make aspect. This is what you need to start with, okay? Then you probably add a little gelatin, and you'll have some coating liquid cold, okay? So a lot of things you can do with consomme. Uh, usually it's served hot, piping hot, with a few garnishes. And then, if you want to put an aspic, you can jellify it. You can do a poached egg cover with an aspic, and it's flavorful and it's delicious. Oh, yeah. This culture is not used to that. Our culture is not used to that, but it's a classic, classic. Okay, it's going to give them the name of Think about, think about the position you're going to be holding the product. You come on over this side, it's easier. You dilt it like that. 
Can you hold it up for me? Stop. Put it over here. Perfect. Turn that it around a, the other way. Is that a donut? You want to try this, yeah? It's something we would throw away anyway. Because, um, or I, you know, I've done it before where I've made staff meals with this. Put a little beans in there, throw some hot sauce, some chili powder. Make a chili. Why don't you a little spoon? Let's get a spoon, yeah? Maybe a bigger spoon.